Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Grand Admiral with scaling difficulty 25 times crisis strength Syncretic evolution species I'm your host Colors Fade it's episode 18 it is the year 2407 and this is what the empire looks like this is what the galactic map looks like we have us the Darzak expansionists in several places I wanted to come over here and look at this 720 influence we're almost in position where we can take these worlds they said we would be able to do it I'm a little leery of doing it but they have a fleet of 126,000 power what are our fleets looking at here 171 okay that's a good thing I see well let's see he's a 7 7 of 10 nice looking at my leaders there we're going to start rolling forward. We're not embroiled in any wars right now. We do want to... Gateway constructed. Yes. What we really want to do here is get our... I wanted to max out influence. I'm going to get myself in position to support greater than ourselves and make it an emergency measure and then immediately use all the influence we can to make sure that it gets passed because it costs you influence. Which makes sense. It costs you influence to exert your power and call in favors. And that's what we really want to do. Under developed system utilization, observation posts provide consumer goods while observing or infiltrating primitive species. Diplomatic weight from economy. I certainly can find it in my heart to support that. And meanwhile... We should be building some things in places. What's going on here? Is our matter compressor de done yet? Let's take a look. Oh, Dyson Sphere. That's what we're building. Our matter compressor is done. We're building a Dyson Sphere. So we're building a Dyson Sphere there. And on Vilth, we're building a Ring World site. And that's 41 days away. That's awesome. Chinor Combine joined the Cosmic Assembly. Who's in the Cosmic Assembly? The Chinor Combine is. And. The Ketling Star Pack and the Wiz Zaraki. Interesting. So these people who are next to us, who could be uh, kind of people we want to go after, actually. <laughs> what do they have right there? That's the Chinner Combine. Oh. Down here we have this. Ring world frame completed. Excellent. So we can get started on these. We're currently building that Dyson sphere. And I don't. Oh, and are we building the mega structure? We're building a mega shipyard. Oh, no. The mega shipyard's done, though. So we can do these two sections. We can't do this one. Because it's. Oh, it says we're lacking, but it's two to three mega structures at a time. So we get those next ring worlds built. I like to build them all really close to my home world as much as I can early on because then it makes it easy to collect their trade initially. The Allied Varel Viv Realm started to integrate the Awoken O, and we're currently integrating our buddies, the Beldross Syndicate, because they crime us up with all of their with all of their crime buildings, all their crime branch offices. So they're being integrated and their integration is going to finish. Uh, soon remaining 97 months okay so not as soon as I was hoping progress 120 I was hoping it'd be done sooner they got a while to go all right we're upgrading habitats too that's the other thing though and I don't think let's take I want to take a look at something here like this fellow here at Darzakia is building a habitat that doesn't count does it against your no but it takes up influence but it doesn't count against you. Okay, it doesn't count. It's not a mega structure. So we can build as many of those as we want. Which we need to do. I just want to get that influ influence up first. And take care of greater than ourselves. That's number one on my priority list. And, and populating us out. That's the whole thing we're trying to... Alien mega structure. The Uzva and begin construction on a... Well, Long range century. We need to build one of those before the crisis shows up for sure. 
we have all of our envoys assigned to our federation boosting us trying to get us to level five as much of as possible for that <coughs> Ring C, what do we have here? This was the ring world I'm just going to put tons of consumer goods and buildings on. I dedicate one ring world to this, and it usually takes care of anything that we need in that regard. Put a couple more of those. They have plenty of jobs there. We don't even have anybody working those artisan jobs yet. So... Population growth is the big thing, and that was the thing is we had taken, I had taken some of, I had taken things off like uh, the robots, architectural renaissance, we need to turn that immediately back on. So let's get that back on, and what was the other one? Fortress proclamation and scientific revolution, okay. Scientific revolution goes back on. Fortress proclamation, start by separate cakes, speed. So what I want to do here, I think, is uh, since pop speed is so... I'm sorry for this chair being so loud and this table being so... I think since pop speed is so important, I need to go back to some of these worlds that are done and put this stuff back on here and let some of these other planets take care of things. So I had been replacing some of those on certain worlds and I just don't think that that's uh, something we should be doing this world. I mean, these are fully raised up. These provide a lot of jobs. I don't like taking those away, but two housing. So this provides what? Seven housing? They'd be in the hole on housing. But I think I want to do that and give them robots. I want I want, I need more pop growth. That's the bottom line. I need the pops to grow as quickly as possible. so that they can be funneled to our ring world. Ring worlds, plural. This is Penthulian Commonwealth has ended their rivalry with the Necroid Reclaimers. We thought there might be a war in heaven, but it hasn't happened yet. Deal, deal, deal. This world, its autochthon monument can come off. Because we now have a dedicated planet for this stuff right here. Heishma. Which is designed to provide us with a ton of unity. Yeah, so on a lot of these worlds, I'm just going to leave the pop growth stuff on there. I usually replace those late, but in this game, it's going to be even more important than it's ever been that we keep growing pops. So, this is a different story. This this planet just doesn't have <laughs> doesn't have a lot of room for that kind of stuff. I could, I mean, you'd lose a bunch of housing doing this. So, although. Oh, and here it goes. So there it is. In fact, what I'm going to do is replace that with robots. Because we have the ring world that's going to come up and take care of all that stuff. We have a ring world that's going to be dedicated to consumer goods. So here it is. Awesome. So ever since the awakening of the Valdari and their ancient necroid rivals, the two giants have been at odds. And this is going to be easy. We're going to stand with the... the the uh, Valdari peacekeepers because they like us and the Necroids are evil anyway so the League of Non-Aligned Powers the Ketling Star Pack good for them but we're gonna we're gonna stand with our buddies who like us and let's see what we got the Federation of the Penthulian Commonwealth will join the League of Non-Aligned Powers okay <laughs> I don't have a problem choosing a side on this deal. And where are these Necroid Reclaimers? They're over here somewhere right there. Okay. Where's going to be the closest place that we can come into play on this? There's an L gate right there. 
and then there's a there's a natural wormhole here but it's just someone who's close to us there's a wormhole here which goes there which isn't very effective oh but there's a gateway here so if we went through our gateway here and then went through this wormhole we could get here but then we'd have to jump drive over I think I'd rather just go through the L gate because we have an L gate in our system don't we yes we do it's right there okay let's get our fleets we have four of them I want to make sure I have admirals for all of them Sub light speed ship fire rate. Oh, that gives me plus 10. I like that. Let's roll, buddy. So you and you and you and you, gentlemen, start your engines. And we should probably start thinking about starting another fleet. And we have the mega shipyard for that. And we have 14k in. So we could say, build us a Titan. It's building a Juggernaut right now. It be fantastic. Bunch of stuff happening. Model 16 claiming. Now, here's what I want to know. Who's who's on what side? The new Raliketh Khanate joined the Necroid Reclaimers. And the Darzak expansion is everybody else joined the, the uh, freebies. That's interesting. Ketling Star Pack. These guys are racing right over here, aren't they? We'll come through the L gate. Oh man, lots of stuff happening. Left the League of Non-Aligned Powers. Join the League of Non-Aligned Powers. Join. Join left, join left. Okay, all of you folk are right there. So let's get you through the L gate over to here. Let's go crush the Necroids and then we can be done with that bit of business. Oh yeah, I have a science ship up here that's not doing anything. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you somebody who can do this. Uh, you're young. Why don't you come over here? Research complete. Excellent. <clears throat> My fleeties. Oh, you're also beautiful. Quickest thing for you all to do would be to go Research right there. Complete. How big are there? Station under attack. Which station? Where? Spaceport under attack. Which spaceport? Right there. Okay. How big are they? They're not big at all. It's the Conate coming in here. Okay. Well then, Conate. Let's go back down to the mega shipyard. Build us a bunch of ships. Go. Spaceport lost. Yes, well, we're going to take care of that here in a minute. Spaceport lost. I'm going to cancel that. So that. So that. Start selling some of these guys. Get up my food being sold. Oops. If I could press the right button. Alright, so we'll get a fleet over there. Yeah, so they're up there. New Conate, huh? And this is what? This is the new. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go take you. We're gonna go take you, Jim. Except, what are you doing? You're a little slow. Who's a little slow? Three of these ships will probably do it. I need the rest of you to get up here as quickly as possible. 
So make your move back. Infinity Equation, the fifth fleet approaches the Gargantuan Black Hole. Gargantua Black Hole, they find that they are not alone. Edge of the event horizon soars, reflecting light from stars being drawn in a dark gaping hole. A gigantic construction in the shape of a perfect sphere begins the technosphere. Situation log updated. Event chain. <coughs> okay. It's the gargantual black hole. Oh well look. I'm I'm gonna send you here. <laughs> right. They have you survey this system. What do they have for ships here? Station under attack. We're gonna get that taken care of. Okay, you folks get over here. Station under attack. I know, I know. Believe me, I know all about it. We're gonna go crush those guys. I got ships headed up there. And I wanna get my troops, or at least one group of them. Probably the one Kers. And let's move them right there. You are lagging a little brother. Hostile fleet detected. Yes, yes, yes. 133k, they're right there at work. Penthulians. Oh, I see. I need to build that other fleet as fast as possible then. What I might have to do is go into... Yeah. What's this cost me? 150. And it gives me 5,000. Sure. send two of these fleets. What are these guys using? Let's take a look. Battle cruiser. They're evenly evenly set here. They have nice dark matter reflectors. They have a ton of kinetic energy. So they are really ramped up against kinetic energy. Uh, wow. They really take shields down. So we should probably have armored ourselves. We'll do that when if fleets get destroyed and end up back in our system. Um, what we might do... These guys are already heavily armored, which is great. These are the only ones that we're using, so. Hold on, what's the difference here? These are 145 and 110, yeah, so we want to be like this. We just want to be fully armored. I'm going to make some notes here. I'm gonna call these Necro ones. Uh, battleships, so. We'll make necro versions of these. B K dash N for necro. That way, some of the things that we're building can be upgraded. Oh wait a minute, this is the kinetic one. I don't need that. There's the penetrator. That's the one I need. I got these three different versions. They all have a different spinal one on them. A spinal bow mount. So now it'll be easy for me to tell those apart. And we should go to Titan and do the same thing. Let's create a very heavily armored version. Titan dash N. Okay, because things like this do, they, those do extra hull damage, but then normally the kinetics just do less to, to armor, so that'll be great. So down here, at this fleet that we're building here, we can say, a ch we don't want to change those, but we want to change this to Battleship Armor Hull N-Class, Battleship Kinetic N-Class, Battleship Pen N-Class, and then I think for expediency, what we're going to do is not worry about a titan here. Actually, I'm going to take uh, fewer battleships because they take longer to build. And we're going to need... It's going to take so much less time to make these corvettes. We'll just make a big corvette fleet. 
not quite a Corvette for swarm, but uh, 15,000, yeah, so start building it. And then when these fools come in here, or over here, whichever one they decide to come to, this has no defenses. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Yeah, they're going to come right over there, aren't they? How big is their fleet? And I don't have any defenses there? That's amazing. Okay. I'm going to need one of my ships to go back there and defend against that. And I'm going to need it to be this guy. This is... Those are pirates, so they're not going to go anywhere. I need you to go here first. And then I need to look at selling some stuff. Oops. I always do that. I always do this. I click on things up here instead of up here. Okay. Alright, so... I can't believe that... That I understand, but this... I never put defense platforms in here. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, uh, well, let's get some stuff. Let's get some stuff to help start building. We'll get a fleet over there to defend against that. In the meantime, are you folks ready? This is probably overkill. So let's go. I'm going to send one of you, one of yous right here. <clears throat> and then my big transport army. Let's move you right there. These guys are annoying over here, but the smaller fleet that we're currently building should be the one that will be able to go over there and take that from them. So, got a little empire spell problem because I took some of my, I took some of this bureaucracy off. Uh, what we should do is upgrade heavily, and get, get people to take these jobs. We should move some people there, too. So, Ring D has an un undone leader. That's fine. I need to find some place like here. Okay, I have set... Because I changed this. Took away some stuff. and So I have extra people now. And this is easy. We just move them to the bureaucratic planets. Uh, which ones were those? They're down here. Gablor and Yundas. So these were late additions. Gablor. It's an Arctic world. Oh. That's going to matter who we send to it, isn't it? Gablor and what is the other one? And a Savannah world. Okay, hold on. <laughs> well then. Who are these people? Seven unemployed pops. What kind of species are they? They are... Habitability, 100%. Yeah, because he's a habitability on a... So he's, what, a half Asperinian Drasic Aerodite. Oh, gosh. Okay. I can't do it that way. What I can do is resettle them to a ring world. Like ring D. I'll do that so that they're, they're actually working jobs. Because on the ring world, they're all going to have the same habitability. All right. It's same thing with up here. I got nine people here. You guys can go to a ring world or an EQ Monopolis, one or the other. Because I have several EQ Monopolises. There's an EQ Monopolis 2 here. So why don't you guys go there? Penthulian Engineer. What are the Penthulians? See, I wish when you hovered over this, it would tell you. What kind of world can the Penthulians go on? Penthulian engineers. What do they like? Racket. Penthulians, they like alpine preference. So on Gablor is an arctic world. They can go to Gablor. Okay. Resettle. Gablor. Right there. Penthulian engineers. I'd rather you guys be working on a ring world, but you can go here and 
take a bunch of those jobs. Actually, I'm only going to send that one, you guys. I'm going to send the rest of them to a ring world. The one, one of the ring worlds that's doing research, which would be ring A or B. So we can make use of them as engineers. There you go. What else do we have? Darzak has some bureaucrats. Yeah, they lost some bureaucrats here. So we'll resettle your people to a ring world. Ring B or ring A. Because you have what? Yep, Darzak. Now miners are different. The miners can go to Gablor or the other one. Which was Yandu's. Why don't you go to Yandu's? Because they're building buildings. And then you can immediately go to work as bureaucrats. Here, you have one leader. Okay. Uh, let's resettle you to a ring room. Like ring C. Because then you'll, even, you'll, you'll have a chance to get a job faster there than you would somewhere else. This world is just about done. And it doesn't have any more growth on it because I took it off. That's okay because it's using so many paradise domes. I'm going to leave it the way it is. You need research. Oh. And housing. Dyson Sphere World. <laughs> you have an unemployed pop. What kind is it? It's a half Darzac. Let's move you to a ring world or Ecumenopolis. Okay. And right here, this is Coggin. Coggin can very simply... Oh, it needs a stronghold. It doesn't have one. Okay, now we can go back to the war. System survey complete. Hey, guys. Are you are you getting up there? Hostile station engaged. Admiral Gaines. Hostile station engaged. Okay, deal. Okay, you guys. I need one of you to go here. And the other one to go here. Look at these guys. They're going to send a ton of fleets over here. Wow. Make ready to reclaim as well. You guys can reclaim. But. We're going to go that way. These are going to get expensive at 14. So since we're making enough. I'm not going to worry about it. And what's the monthly trade on these? Cancel those. See if that doesn't help take us out of the problem there. Hey, where did these guys go? They just disappeared. Oh, they're right there. Oh, yeah, because this is a liability. Yep. Oh, we really need this spot. Ooh, Zant Coalition. We need that. That's too bad. Yeah, this this is no no this is a, a bad choke point. Anyways, I think I realized that way early on, but I didn't do anything about it. What are these guys doing? Oh, where'd they go? What now? What just happened? Ketlin Star Pack. Oh, now everybody's at war with us. Really? Net quarter claimers declare war on the Kentland Star Pack. Why is everybody at war with us? Do you guys understand that the Necroids are bad? Oh. This stinks. Okay, we have to go back, gentlemen. I don't care about that anymore. I don't care about taking their lands. Don't care. We gotta go protect our own space. All that matters now is protecting ourselves. Wow. Bummer. Well. Yeah, the whole entire galaxy just turned red. Basically. Uh, void superiority. Oh my goodness. Who's this? The Chinner Combine. You guys should be with us. Where's Gablor? Right there. Okay. Shielded World. Wow. Wow. 
Amazing. Well, I know I've got things there. Hmm. Where did these guys go? Dyson sphere panels installed. That's nice. Partial Dyson sphere. Okay, so then you gotta click on it again before that comes up. I need 10,000 of those. I don't have them, so we're gonna have to wait. Where did, did those guys jump somewhere? They were, well, we took that. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. This is really strange. How are you guys doing? You don't have a leader. Let's get you one. Ship fire weight and weapon damage. You guys need to move right there. How bizarrely strange. The whole galaxy just lost its mind. Yeah, but now that you guys need to get out, get out of here. Oh, you're not, you're not gonna get out of there. We're gonna lose those troops. That's gonna be a fleet lost thing. Oh my goodness. How did the whole galaxy end up on the wrong side of this? What do we have over here? No, 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 go here. How did the whole galaxy end up on the wrong side? That's just amazing. All right, one of you guys, whoever's gonna be the fastest. I need you to get down here to this place that's ours. Right there, get back to Gabor. We need that. Oh my goodness. The war in heaven. Well, I said I wanted a war in heaven, so. Hmm. What is this? They're not tough. What about you guys? You just want to go over here and be aggressive? What's happening over here? Oh my Research complete. Oh my goodness, it's a. It is a snaggle tooth. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we're gonna lose these guys. Yeah, we lost them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is our, this is our space. It, we got stuff down here we'd like to protect, obviously, but the main homeworld piece is, is the most important, so. That's going to be messy, isn't it? I was hoping we could get in there and crush those necroids, but it's not going to happen. So can we get this space? Hostile fleet engaged. Can we... Since it's a war in heaven, it looks like as we as we take space, we're, uh, we're conquering things. I'm going to go get some troops here. I've got some. The 2K transport. Can you guys go here and take this? Harrow Roost. Be a way better choke point. Yeah, it looks like with the war in heaven, we're just, it's in the, this is, I wanna see what this looks like. Oh, wow. They got some big ships there. You need to get over there. Habitat complete, San Cristo. This is Hab 6. Hmm. What do we have over here? Moderate administrative sanctions. What is this? Wazaraki. They took that the Elgate spot. We gotta get our fleets back here. Can you get down here and take them? Take you a little bit to get down there. Just go directly for them. Boy. I guess, War in Heaven, I should have just, I should have just played defensively. I'm 
moved on. My fleet's being aggressive, and that cost me. It cost me dearly. Enemy planet secured. Okay, so we took that. Can we manage to... I don't care about that trade. I want to get a fleet over there and hold that position. Here's a 13,000 fleet. Move them up here. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Really? We're at 30,000 fleet right there. And that's. Oh, that's in this section. Right. Okay. Then what about this other one? Right there, which is model 16 sequence next to the Necroid Reclaimers. I can't care about that. Yeah, go back. Okay, you're here. What are you doing? Let's go take all that back. You guys hold the line over here. The Pentulans. Maybe we'll just have to use this as an opportunity. Colony gain. Beldra Syndicate. Research complete. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Isn't it? Wow. Hostile fleet detected. How big are these hostile fleets? 28, 17. So what do we have? You're going after them and one another. Okay. Just got to get people in place here. What about over here? At. Okay, so right here at Gablor, we're back. There's a gateway there. Can you come crush those guys? Or can you come here? Boy. Gonna have to stay on top of this, aren't we? How big is this fleet? Where are they at right now? Okay. You're going there. Actually, I want you to be the one that... Just go crush them. Get over there. Because you guys are doing what? You're moving here? I got somebody else on that job. I want you to go over here. Let's go take that. Take some of this. Let's go steal it. Okay, and you're there just sitting there. Alright. Well, I think it might be time to take some pendulums. Okay, so what is this? Over here... I gotta start looking at choke points far off in the distance. Like, here's a choke point right here. Or we could just try to take all the pentulins. There's a bunch of stuff over here. This is a good choke point where we're at. Yeah, it's a really good choke point. Where where do the Those Guardians are staying out of it. Model sixteen, model sixteen. The Valdari peacekeepers. What are you guys doing? It's like you're sitting on your hands. You punks. Okay, well, let's roll forward and see. Promising officer. I like that. Denounce the Necroid Reclaimers. Support that. Does that do anything? Research complete. To them. Because they're not really part of the galactic community. But maybe it does. Oh, good job. Okay. How are you guys? You're, you're a huge ship. So we can do lots of things with you. Your big fleet, 185. Um... 
here's what I want you to do. I want you to go there, there. Let's take some of their planets from them. Let's make them reconsider their option to do whatever this is. Defenders, the war in heaven, the Valdari peacekeepers against all these people. How did that happen? Like, why? Isn't this enough? Wow, it's like the Valdari decided to fight the neutral faction. Is the new what I want to know is is the new no, it's not. There'd be a separate war thing up there, wouldn't there? If the neutral faction was fighting well, maybe they are fighting the Necroid Reclaimers. Maybe that's why they're neutral. Maybe they're fighting both. A bit of both. Maybe that's why. You guys are gonna go take them. That'd be great. Go get them. Go get them. Put an end to that whole situation down there. Okay, this is us down here and some allies. Laying waste. That's what I like seeing. Okay. Very nice. The constant calculator we picked up a signal that originates from the titanic metal sphere we encountered earlier. Previously impervious to contact attempts, it now sends out the rhythmic pulse of radio waves pointing towards the black hole it orbits. What it is doing is beyond any of our staff, but this signal might have created an opening in the sphere for our scientists to exploit. It's a special project reaching the orb. Track on map go to. Okay, science person, research that project and tell me what's going on there. Okay, you. Yep, go down there and get that. And what's this down here? It's a assault flotilla from Wizaker. It's 30. It's 60k. Okay. Kitling Star Pack's got some people there. Okay, here, I'm done with you screwing around. Go get them. Will you can you catch up to them? Yeah. Is there any chance you can just jump right over there and go get it? Because they're not that strong, are they? They're 24,000. Go in there and finish them off. You do this. There we go. Oh, and now it's going to be a little slowdown storm comes look at you guys fire thank you good job gentlemen good job thank you hostile fleet detected where at this is right there It'd be nice if this was all one big contiguous piece. That'd be kind of cool. We might be able to make that happen. Printing press. Research complete. Significant step for them. All right. I have these guys here. I'll tell them go get these. How many defenders do they have? 322. You should be good to do that. You folk here, finish this off. Get this back here, please. Flip that back over. Hostile fleet detected. Yeah, they're a little tiny fleet right there. We will crush that first. I might just need some smaller fleets as we're maxing out things here. Some smaller fleets to, to handle stragglers, so I think that's something we'll we'll do here. Hostile fleet detected. We're at Yeah, they're coming through there. So let's get us a little tinier fleet. Let's just go up here and make some Corvette fleets with our massive mega ship here. The 
need some fleets that can handle this stuff. You guys are here. Can you just go through here? Research complete. This is just one of the craziest situations I've ever been in. It's kind of nuts. Okay. Um, Hostile fleet detected. Here's what I want you to do. Start capturing all that stuff. Institute the increased benefit. On what planet is this? Right there. It's Kazon. Okay. You have a new name. <laughs> Something I can pronounce. Kazon. You have unemployed people and not enough housing. But you have some growth here. Let's make things easy. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on you folks. Oh, and you have robots down. Okay. Let's give you some housing first. Let's make you mining more. Put some people to work and give you gene clinics. Clone bats, I mean. Okay, Kazon. Are you guys figuring this out? Okay, decaying hub. So there's some stuff there we need to go grab. Transport. I want you both to go here because you're going to join with each other. Research complete. I'm going to go take that. Starbase capacity is what I'm going to keep going for as long as it gives it to me. And then maybe some army damage stuff. Uh, over here I want to start building. I want, to, I want to build enough of a fortress to ward those guys off from that direction. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, we're in. <laughs> Yeah, they keep coming in and out of there and uh, we're gonna go there and then there we're just gonna kind of sit there for a little while we'll send a smaller fleet there and have some defensive platforms and be able to just take that I want all of this connected so in fact uh, yeah. I'm just gonna roll down to it all here this would be a great truck going over here yeah Yep, let's do that and roll all the way down through here. We'll need some troops here. I should probably start building them, eh? Let's do that. Let's go build some troops. Go into armies, recruit. Scroll down. Start with all of these. Trappist. Come out of there. Ring world. Side Rex Alpha. This makes it. Xenomorphs. I'm going to be bringing the pain, boys and girls. And we have more than enough money to, to deal with this. Oh, we should also probably consider that whole Dyson Sphere thing, but for now, it seems like the more prudent decision is is uh, to fight the war to use alloys to build ships so oh I misspelled that that's not a full you formed have yet okay I think that's going to do quite a bit for our those folk. Here's the seventh fleet. What do you got going on there? Okay. Sixth fleet is sitting up here. Seventh fleet and the sixth fleet can, can merge. So why don't you guys go up here? And then as I go down to Darzaki and Mega Shipyard and they say keep building. So, yep, yeah, about that many. Build a bunch more Corvettes. This guy. 
I'm less concerned with this. This is a choke point. What I really want you to do, sir, is come down here and do this. I want to get connected to all this stuff down here. I just want to take all this. We should have all this. We'll just do as much as we can. It looks like for the next probably, well, up until the end game crisis shows up, we're going to be embroiled in this mess here. We're, we've lost all this ground up here to the Kane, and that's just, what can you do? You know, shake your head. some kind of mega structure. You guys are up here. This is good. You can just join forces since there's a leader there. That gives you 41k to just kind of hold off. Yeah. And so we have this building. And we'll just do our best to, to strike out from here and connect all this and then protect it as much as we can. And keep kind of slowly trying to expand. And if we can do that, then construction complete. Then who knows what can happen? Who knows? Colony established. And that was the habitat. What is this? Trade district and a reactor Every district. Ooh, I can make it. It's because it was built on top of that thing. That's cool. I'm still going to just want to do trade station and then one of those and the rest housing. Oh, I'm your damage now. Let's get back down to. Yeah, you keep chugging along there, bud. And I'm going to wait to do that, and that, that. Special project complete. The constant calculator. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We are receiving some data from it, and can tell that it's been scanning the black orb gargantua for a very long time. It is old, very old. The constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. If we push harder, we might find out what is it doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? Contact. Issue special project hacking the calculator. Hack the main hard drive and take everything. I'm going to contact it? No, I'm going to use my special option. Hacking the calculator. Research. Now, where do we have debris? So I need to get my science ship busy working on it, and I'm going to figure out where it is first. Go to, where is this at? Right there? Okay. Where's some of the other ones? Right there. And a whole bunch over here in this space where there's nothing we can do. Alright, I want you to go uh, here first. Research that project. Who is this? This is the Chinner Combine. Yeah, I'd like nothing more than to put an end to them. They've been a thorn in my side since day one. So you guys are done. And that's because there's two places for you to land armies here. Yeah, you're maxed out. Good job. Okay. Planetary invasion begun. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, hold on a second here. Habitat. And then there was one more. In the system who's not doing anything. Habitat. There. 
Alright, where are you guys showing up at? Right there, which is where... Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's okay, because he's coming for you. Alright, and then the other one, where are you at? Uniac, which is where? Right there. Okay, yeah, this guy's gonna... He's gonna come take care of you. Alright, and same with this guy. Alright, perfect. Good, we got that rolling around. What are you guys doing? You are the fifth fleet, and you're just... You took care of our enemies there and then haven't done anything else. I would like you... Specifically... To move down here. Oh yeah, start there. Go there, and go there. And then we'll send you some troops. Okay. What are we looking at down here? Troops... Yep, get down here and take that system. Got some fleets here. <laughs> Enemy planet secure. do that. So you took that. What else is left in this system? Oh, right here. There's three planets in there. Wow. Okay. Oh, we need to go get this then. Alright. You, I got a better plan for you. Well, you're going to land in that system. Oh, and there's a fleet right there. Look at you. Look how lucky you got. They showed up just in time. What's going Research on down here? Complete. There's a little fleet down here. They're all Corvettes. And if we really want this to be expedient, we could just say a bunch of Corvettes. Make as many as you can, as fast as you can. Research is complete. I think we've made all the starbase capacity we can get, so... And where are you coming from? Right there, which is there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna come down and try to choke all of that. Oh no, that's up. This is up here. Oh, I can't do anything about that. Our allies here might be able to take care of it for us, but we can't be bothered with this. This is a, just a, a mess up here. We're gonna we're gonna stick to our planetary invasion begun. Homeworld over here. You guys, how are you doing? You gonna you gonna take them out? Yep. The answer to that question is yes. Okay, before you do that, here's what I want you to do. Jump drive to here. I want to get this straggling space out of here. Enemy planet secured. Okay, good job. I want you to move to here. Jump driver is going to take that care of that for you. Under attack. Where at? Oh, he can get out of there. Can he? Maybe not. One here. Like that. Completed ring world section in the Villeth system. No. Where's the Villeth system? Oh. Excellent. Alright, so. Look at all you guys. Bring A2. And ring B2. I can't really worry about the rest of it now because I have to keep my alloys focused on building ships. Q2. 
here. Get that all the way built up. I don't want to add that stuff. Research complete. Let's see how many. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch of troops over here, don't we? Hostile fleet detected. What happens if we join all those together? Colony gain. Where are you folks coming in? Right there, which is in our system here. Oh, we have to put someone at the L gate, don't we? Yeah. We have to put someone at the L gate. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting about that L gate thing, and that's that's bad. Now, can you just jump right there? Good, go do that. So this fleet right here, just go straight down to the L gate. We're gonna build a station there and defend that. And we need to take a look at our empire here at the end of the episode. We have some, we've got some sectors and things like that. We're gonna let's start with that next episode. You guys need housing, but you also are gonna need some people with jobs there. We gotta continue to do this. We can't stay, can't be over the cap, causing a 2%, 3% penalty to research. We just can't do that. Replace this with housing. Over here, you guys are in the same position, need housing. Take this, replace it with housing. Oh, after it, let's upgrade this first then. We'll send some people there to those two places. So that's where we're at. Wow, what a heck of an episode. Lots of stuff happening. War in heaven. Oof, I wanted it. I got it. <laughs> it's not quite what I wanted. I was really hoping to just go in there and crush the Necrods. Bummer. Now we're fighting everybody, but it's it certainly makes for an interesting game, right? Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a question or comment down below. My Patreon's listed in the description below. I'll see you all next time.